Welcome everybody back to episode 13 of Life is Strange True Colors. Chapter 4 of Flicker starts now. Pike, it's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. All right. Bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Thanks. Talk soon. It didn't sound too excited. Haven Spring. Interesting. We are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the Lathe Flower Cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey look, a rose. Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Maybe. I can decide downstairs. Oh, I'm definitely giving one to Steph. That is decided from now. <laughs> For now, I'll grab the USB stick. All right, let's go grab that. Sitting right on the table. Okay, time to head downstairs. All right, so this is presenting, prepping up to be a weird night, actually. I mean, we're gonna have the fun of a festival, but also the danger of uh, carrying an illegal USB drive on us, like at the same time. Now, oh, this looks pretty, though. Reminds me of me. <laughs> Holy shit. You own a skirt? Easy there. <laughs> Don't announce it to everybody. Hey, guys. Happy first spring fest. Thanks. I got a hold of Pike. He'll be here soon. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Typhon. Hence the celebration. I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. All right, I need help setting up or who's playing? Oh, actually, let's ask who's playing. Do we know them? Nice. Who's playing? Local band. You'll love them. I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. Text me when it's ready. Something tells me she will not get to be a normal person at all. If I wanted to give away a rose, Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my list. Actually, only Steph. Time to enjoy the festival. All right, what should we start with? Jelly bean counter. Okay. Let's see the feelings. This game is so demoralizing. Why do I do this to myself? Hmm. Maybe I can help him somehow. Help count the beans? Sounds interesting. This is impossible. Guess the number of jelly beans and win a prize. Let's do it. What is she feeling? Another year, another prize gift card for yours truly to keep. I'm such a little devil. Really? Come on, jelly bean lady. That's not right. Oh, she's going down. <laughs> Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. You're taking this jelly bean thing very seriously. Yeah, because the prize is a $100 gift card. Chrissy's been all anxious ever since she got lost. So I thought I could get her a bunch of treats, which is really embarrassing saying it out loud. Not at all. That's sweet. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? How many jelly beans do you think there are? Okay, 300 or 800. I don't know, I uh, kind of want to go for the higher one. Isn't it always like more than they seem? Nah, let's go with 800 maybe. It's always more than you think it is. I'd say like 800 or so. Huh. Yeah, could be. Feels like something just changed in that lady by the jar. Maybe I should read her. 
Oh, nice. We're gonna guess by reading her reactions. 800's actually not bad. Hopefully they don't go lower. Oh, I was close? Maybe I should say something. Yes, go lower. 700. 600. Hey, I've got another guess. Yeah? Uh, definitely not 200, 700 it is then. I think it's closer to 700. Yeah, 700 feels right. But we have to get it exactly. Just felt that lady's heart skip a beat. I should read her again. Oh man, the exact amount though, that's gonna be tough. Hear me, they're really close to 731. Who is this girl? Hell yes, your secret's mine. Well, scratch that. She revealed it. <laughs> the answer is 731. Don't ask me how. 731 jelly beans. Boom. That's, <laughs> that's correct. Yes! Thanks so much for your help. You rule. I know. No sweat. He's happy. Best. Spring fest ever. And so peace returned to the Jelly Bean Kingdom. And the lady's angry, of course. <laughs> I can't believe it. How did she know? Just a lifetime of emotional trauma. Magic, baby. <laughs> All right, let's see what Eleanor is up to. This year. After the party? Come on. Young man like yourself, you must know what the haps is. Honestly, I'm getting pretty bushed. Thinking of calling it a night soon. Boo! <laughs> oh my goodness. What is this town coming to? God. It used to be they that just hope Riley is doing all wasn't right. complete oh, till no. everyone was either asleep what in happened the park to Riley? or in someone else's bed. Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. Where is Riley? Lots of work? No, screw it, we are asking about Riley. It's underlined and it's important. Let's go for that right away. Hey, so where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. Well, she's got a lot going on right now. I think she'd rather keep to herself tonight. Okay. Doesn't answer my question, though. I wonder if there's something she's not telling me. Okay, let's ask the other questions. The decorations really turned out beautifully. It must have been a huge amount of work. It's worth it. So, we doing shots tonight or what? Of course. Body shots. Who's going first? What? <laughs> Just kidding. Thank God. Or am I? Not thank God. Don't thank him yet. I better get going. Yeah, unless you want to get body shots. <laughs> Alright, let's explore the town a bit. Ooh, a rose. Yes, I'm taking one for Steph, definitely. Maybe I could give a rose to Steph or Ryan. Take one for someone special, limited supply. So you gotta be fast as well as in love, I guess. <laughs> In this case. Let's hold on to this for a while. Let's explore first the town a bit. Hello, Mac. I heard the call. And I wanted to thank you. I know you tried to do the right thing. So, what now? I'm taking Typhon down, the whole hornet's nest. I'm not betting against you, but in the meantime, they're the only ones cutting checks in town. So I've heard. And I still got plenty of bills to pay. Still a coward, Mac. Jesus, you can do better or okay, be careful. No, you can do better, man. Come on. Come on, Mac. Even you're too good to work for them. 
It's always flattering to see how much you care about me. No wonder you try to break up me and Riley. Oh. Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. Get away from me, Mac. Jesus. <laughs> that guy is slimy as ever. Now, uh, let's see what the Black Lantern, uh, what's happening inside. Oh, sounds kind of empty. Duck is here, though. And he's feeling sad. It's not the same without you, Tabitha. Never was, never will be. Tabitha, sounds like Ducky's got a story to tell. Hey, Ducky. Who's Tabitha? Oh, straight questions. Okay. Let's see how that goes. Do you want to talk about her? You know, Alex, on this particular matter, I don't have much to say. Yeah, that was a bit too direct, Alex. Come on. Okay. You gotta work for your meal. There's gotta be more I can do for Ducky. Well, we know the drill by now. Get a feel, explore the room. We haven't really explored Ducky's memories up to now. Kind of wondering what we'll find. We know he's funny, but that, that's essentially all we know about the guy up to now. And he is an old timer here. Alright, let's start with the bear. Okay. Tell me what I need to know to help him. You know, I carved that myself. Oh, hi, I'm Reginald McAllister III. My friends call me Ducky. <laughs> Tabitha Baker. Call me Tabs. Alright, so that's how they met. Let's see how the story, their story, unfolds. Wait, wait, don't drink it. Look at the bottom. What? What are you... Uh, oh, Ducky, it's beautiful. Tabitha Baker, will you marry me? Oh, an important person indeed. Nice, they met, they got married. Let's see what happened afterwards in their life. Happy anniversary, love. Here's to another 30 years. And another 30 festivals, if we can make it. Ducky, you're gonna outlast this whole damn town. Without you, though, sadly. There's something I can do. All right, let's go back to Ducky then and see. Now that we've collected all the memories, maybe we can actually help him. It's a tough night for you, isn't it? The Spring Fest. That's right. So about Tabitha, dance, Spring Festival, or the Wooden Bear. Let's start with Tabitha. Seems the most important one. You met Tabitha here, didn't you? In the lantern. Yes, I did. Being here on that night was the luckiest I've ever been. All right, uh, that didn't do it. Let's see how about dancing, maybe. Give me one sec. Oh, it's jukebox time. Nice. Let's see what they danced to. It's gonna be very old, definitely. Oh, nice. I love these oldies. How did you... They're playing your song. Let's dance. A bit awkward, but it works, I guess. <laughs> man, getting an old man to relive the love of his life. It's actually one of the cutest scenes in the entire game, I have to say. Clap. 
closed eyes and everything. He's definitely enjoying. Kind of just want to shut up and listen to the music, I don't know. <laughs> you know what reminds me most of her right now? It's not the song or the festival. It's that you took the time to care about a sad old man for no other reason than to make the world a little less troublesome. And that was Tabs. Thank you, Alex. I think I'm a little more inclined to join the others outside. You're very welcome. Enjoy the festival. Mission accomplished. Alex the matchmaker. Even after death. This is definitely the most emotional Life is Strange game I've played. Not as epic as the first one, but definitely much more memorable characters, like Ducky here, for example. Let's actually go and explore the town a bit. I wonder what we might find. A lot of fun. Yeah, it was. Do you think I'm I still like her so much. Are you hungry? What do I do? I Tell her. Man. Forbidden love is a bitch. What are you? Not really. But that's nice of you. Right. Damn it. I'm head over heels for this dork. What do I do? Wait, they're both into each other? Come on, people. Yeah, we need to help them. <laughs> hey, um... Cute couple or just make out already? No, just make out already seems too aggressive for these two. Let's say cute couple. I just wanted to say you two make a really cute couple. Oh! oh. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. That's really sweet. That idea doesn't bother you? Us being a couple? Yeah. I kind of like it. Holy shit. Uh, okay, so does this mean... Do you want to... Um... Go out sometime? Yes. But just the two of us? Yes. An actual date, <laughs> devoid of pottery or third wheels. Okay. Okay, great. Wow, second success in the same night. <laughs> Man, I'm doing great. Is someone standing out past the Bridge of Flowers? Pretty late for a bus ride. Oh, I see red hair. That's gotta be Riley. Indeed, we found her. And her shoes have melted into the ground, by the way. <laughs> Just waiting at the bus stop. About to change my entire life. I've been there. She's feeling anxious though. Hey Riley. Oh, hi Alex. What are you doing out here? Just out for a walk. You? My bus comes tonight and I just couldn't bear saying goodbye to everyone. I get that. I'm really gonna miss this town. I'll miss my Nana most of all, of course. <laughs> I hope Nana's okay. She's in good health, but sometimes I wonder if I should really be leaving her here alone. Eleanor is keeping her condition a secret, but I feel like Riley would want to know. What should I do? Oh, this is gonna be a choice, right? Yes, tell Riley about Eleanor or keep Eleanor's confidence. Actually, an easy choice. I mean, yes, we. I said I'd be honest with all my choices, but this is not about honesty. This is about actually keeping somebody's uh, secret intact. Like, Eleanor asked us specifically not to tell Riley. And I bet if we did Riley, that would make uh, both Riley and Eleanor sad at the same time. So I'm going to keep Eleanor's confidence in this case. is so proud of you. All she wants is for you to follow your dreams. You're right, of course. Good luck with everything. We're rooting for you. 
look nice. We actually didn't lie. Thanks, Alex. Have a great time at the festival. We will in the next episode. <laughs>